Ahoy and welcome back to another video from the Crow's Nest, your home for Sea of Thieves. I'm Captain Jay and today we're talking the latest patch notes, patch 1.05, that dropped today as well as a bit of Sea of Thieves for the future. Today's update weighs in at 1.36 gigabytes on Xbox and 1.25 gigabytes over on Windows 10. Although the patch didn't have any massive new additions, it did have quite a bit of fixes and updates. The first is the improved message from beyond. The ferryman wasn't happy with the text that had been written describing how to scuttle a ship, so he made them write a better version, and then walk the plank. This new improved version is much easier and clearer to find and read. The message is pretty straightforward overall. The next small change was the adjusted position of the ammo crates on both ships, so they're easier to interact with. The ammo crates have been moved to the side slightly from where they originally sat, so players don't accidentally open up the weapon armory instead. It's the tiniest of changes, but it's a quality of life change overall. For all you music loving pirates, players will no longer play the same shanty twice in a row. It's a nice little fix that helps make cycling through songs a bit easier. We also got some new UI improvements where images in the vanity and clothing chests now load seamlessly. In addition, all UI screens now fade in when opened. There was also a good amount of issues fixed as well. I won't go over all of them here because there's that many, but some of the more notable fixes do include resolving issues where skeleton forts or bounty quest skeletons fail to spawn, players no longer being stuck with a single weapon slot, and player choices will persist across sessions, and lastly, ships will unfortunately no longer ping up into the sky when sinking. It was an odd little glitch, but it was very entertaining to see, I'm sad to see that one go. There was also a few performance improvements aimed at server stability within the patch. And over in CFT's news, there's rumor that a new shipment of clothing, items, weapon skins, and ship customization are on the horizon and heading for the Sea of Thieves. This look is very interesting as it has a whole Spanish Conquistador vibe to it with the armor plating and the helm. No word yet on how much it is, but if the other sets, such as the recent legendary ship, are anything to go by, I'd say it's a good idea to start saving up your gold. With that said, how much money have you earned in-game? What are you saving up for? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for checking out the video everyone. If you enjoyed it and want more Sea of Thieves, click the like button, subscribe to the Crow's Nest, and be sure to hit that bell icon for the latest in Sea of Thieves. As always, I'm Captain J, and until next time, fair winds and following seas.